The video of me building my first personal laser engraver is one of my most popular videos, and since then, I have used the laser so many times on numerous different projects. So, when Endurance Lasers reached out to me to see if I would be interested in one of their products, I did not hesitate to look them up. Like most I have seen, when I built my laser I used some cheap Chinese laser that probably never actually meets its rated wattage and is required to have downtime for cooling. In contrast, Endurance Lasers are insanely powerful, producing the wattage they're rated for, while also having enough cooling power to run continuously. The only downside, all that power comes at a much heftier price than the Chinese knockoffs. But that's to be expected. The good news is that Endurance constantly has new giveaways and deals going on. For instance, right now Endurance is offering 31% off their 10 watt laser, which is the one I am showing in this video. Probably the coolest thing about Endurance lasers is that they're designed to go on an existing CNC or 3D printing machine. So, if you're not like me and you don't have a laser engraved machine just lying around, you could also install this, like I said, on a CNC or 3D printer. And they include all the gear and hardware you'll need to adapt that. So, enough talking, let's install this bad boy. So here's the difference between my old laser and the new 10 watt laser. Here's your Chinese cheap low wattage. Here's your uh, built in America 10 watt beast. So I've used it a little bit just to test it out before I did any permanent attachments. And a few things that are already bothering me. So this thing is not really made for an enclosure this big. Say it's trying to go to the far corner. It just does that. So I'm gonna have to extend their power wires, no big deal. So the signal wires that come from the Arduino control board itself needs to be extended. Um, the other thing is, since the mount parts they gave me didn't really fit on mine, I only attached this thing on the top, and as you can see, there's a little bit of separation there, and so it wobbles when it's moving fast, which creates kind of like a beveled laser, which you can see right here from one of my videos that I just did where I was engraving something and it kind of, if, if you look really closely, you can see how it's waving on something that needs to be perfect. So I need to take this off, reattach it on the bottom as well so it's firmly secure and try and make sure it's level, of course, and then extend those wires. So now I've got this reattached, I've got this rebut splice and covered, I've got the power wire to the laser extended and covered, and now, well, reattach that, now everything moves smoothly all the way around my entire machine. Just to show you kind of the raw power of this machine, I'm manually turning it to max power via the switch on the power supply and just holding it over the edge of a piece of wood. And as you can see, just by burning for a few seconds, which obviously you would never burn it like this in an actual engraving situation, you do multiple passes, but you can just see how deep this laser can get just by, like I said, burning for a few seconds. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this 10 watt upgrade as cool as I did. Even though I did receive a discount for this laser, I still paid hundreds of dollars for it. So when I say this thing rocks, that's my honest opinion. Stay tuned to see all the cool things I have in store for this laser.